I've been putting it off for too long. This channel's branding is purple, and I haven't been in the Barrios purple train yet. Seriously? Anyway, it's finally time to go ride the Altamont Commuter Express. Wait, doesn't the C stand for corridor? Whatever. The Ace Route will take us from San Jose de Radon through to Santa Clara, then crossing over to Fremont, passing by Pleasanton and Livermore, all the way through to Tracy and ending at Stockton over two hours later. We get a rare chance to use Platform 1 at San Jose de Radon. So here we go, let's get on board the spy level. And as always, I'm heading upstairs. Now the seats here are really nice, they're padded well and they have these leather headrests on top. Sadly though, being only 5'7", I could not enjoy them. One thing you'll notice as well is plenty of in-seat power, as well as tables to get some work done. And with that, we're actually leaving Duradon on time. Let's get this journey started. Now, in the early stretches of this trip, my operator constantly made announcements saying, quote, We are not Caltrain, we're not Amtrak, we don't go to San Francisco or Oakland. I don't know, I find that quite funny. Our first stop is Santa Clara, which of course is shared with Caltrain, and after that we can branch off into a different right of way. Now I do get annoyed when people say commuter rail for things that actually run all day like Caltrain, but Ace is your typical commuter rail, with 4 trips out and back every weekday and absolutely nothing on all other times and on the weekend. And now my next stop is Great America, which is where a lot of people actually got onto the train, more than I expected. And now we can cross over into the East Bay, though this is not the Dumbarton Bridge. Now you're probably wondering how you pay for Ace without Clipper. They actually have their own ticketing system and it was pretty easy to get a ticket on their app. Of course, if you're used to Clipper, then it can be a bit of a hassle. Our first stop across the East Bay is Fremont, which is equidistant from Union City and Fremont Bard stations. This is where the route starts to get really interesting, as we start to bend through some mountains and tunnels, and we come out on the other side in Pleasanton. Next stop after that is Livermore, and this is our last sort of connection to the rest of the Bay Area Transit Network, as wheels have buses here to Dublin BART Station, but after that, we are truly out in the desert. Now you're probably wondering if Ace is ever going to expand from this out and back commuter rail, and they do actually have some ideas on how to expand. Some plans include going up to Merced, and even Sacramento potentially. And on the other end, they do hope to link up to a BART station, perhaps Union City. Though at the moment, most of these plans do seem pretty distant. Welcome to Stockton. 
Um, it is currently 44 degrees Celsius outside. So you're probably wondering, how am I gonna get back? Back to the Bay Area. Well, luckily, the Amtrak San Joaquin exists, but sadly, it doesn't go from this station. It goes from the other Stockton station. So we gotta figure out how to get there. God, it's so hot. It's unbelievably hot right now. So it seems there's a throughway bus, but I don't know if they're gonna let me on, so we'll find out. It's a short 10 minute bus ride between the stations, not very eventful here in Stockton. I'd never come here before to bring this trip report, and honestly, it seems like I didn't miss out on anything. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you, you too. Oh yes, we made it. I can feel the desert power just coursing through my veins right now. And before long, our train showed up, which was actually on time. Once again, I'm getting very lucky with on-time departures today. And look at that, it's a nice new Siemens Venture train set. On board, the trains definitely have that new train vibe to them. Once again, we have some pretty comfortable seats and plenty of power to boot as well. So our route on the San Joaquins is pretty straightforward along the coast. We'll make two stops before reaching Richmond, Antioch, Pittsburgh, and Martinez. So first up here on the Amtrak snack pack, we have, instead of chips and guac, we have chips made of guac. Let's see how they are. Nah, I can't really taste it. They're pretty bland. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I still prefer if the chips and guac are just separate entities. But come on, surely you can't mess up chocolate chip cookies, right? These are good, actually. Past Martinez, the sun began to set and the views were just gorgeous. This camera cannot do it justice. just as we were pulling in ourselves. I think that was gonna wait for us. And it's also past 8 p.m. so red line's not running, only orange. So I might be stuck here for 20 minutes, but we've done it. We've ridden ace. We're back in the BART system. 
a marathon. We actually made it on. It actually waited for us. Well, I had to run a little bit. I don't think everyone made it. But, yeah, we did it.